we chose this line of work, but it doesn't mean I have to be a clown while I'm doing it. And enough people already look down on us sometimes. You're a pizza delivery boy, get a real job. Ma, 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 ma. First offer of the day, Papa John's. Just how I started yesterday. That's not a bad one. I couldn't dash now, so I hit dash along the way. So if you can't dash now in your zone, if there's a zone right next to you, hit dash along the way. And see, look, the mileage isn't crazy. It won't always be like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and try to take that. It's one item. I'm really close. Yeah, I'm gonna take that to start the day. Let's let's get it, guys. Let's see what today brings us. As, as you see with the GPS, it's literally down the street. Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You, where we talk about the gig economy. We talk about using it as a stepping stone and betting on yourself, setting goals, and doing it one day at a time. If you're new here, appreciate y'all. If you uh, watch and you haven't yet subscribed, consider hitting the subscribe button to help support the channel. We're going places. This isn't just food delivery. We talk about it, but we're, we got other things going on. I hope you do as well. Let's see what today brings us. Today is going to be a half day for me. I'm going to have the apps on. It's just now 10, it's almost 11. It's 1057. I'm going to work until about three and then I got some other things going on. So for me, that's kind of a half day. We're going to basically use what, four hours or so of work. And I should be able to make at least a hundred bucks. We'll see what today brings. We'll mix in some ride share as well. Welcome back. <laughs> exactly how we started the video yesterday for the most part. Hilarious. It's my local Papa John's. They treat me pretty good. Now, before we go in the store, uh, I got my hop, my pizza bag. A lot of you guys in yesterday's video, the comments were bumping. I want to talk about it real quick before we start our day. Now, uh, a lot of you guys asked about how do I get into pizza program? DoorDash will send you a text or email um, if it's available in your market and they need that program to be viable, right? Uh, you can also possibly, I guess, reach out to support and let them know, can you guys send me that? And maybe that might work for you. Also, people ask, how do you get a free, how do you get a pizza bag? Did you buy it? You can buy them from DoorDash. You can buy them from Amazon, from stores. Uh, you can get them for free at local spots like Papa John's, Little Caesars, Pizza Hut, a local joint. Ask them for a bag. The app even sometimes will let you know that you can ask that merchant for a bag if you don't have a pizza bag. Also, one last thing. I had at least 100 comments about the soda thing yesterday. And I said it was a Diet Pepsi, but then when you guys saw me order it, I ordered a Pepsi. It was an actual Pepsi that the customer needed. I misspoke, so I didn't get anybody sick. I didn't, you know, everything was cool. I didn't make two mistakes. I made one yesterday. I appreciate all the comments because you guys are watching. You're holding me accountable. You're asking questions. You guys are an engaging group of viewers, and I, I love that very much. And I want, I want you to know any comment that you give, any watch hour that you give me is not forgotten. Let's start our day. So here's exactly what I was just talking about. If you need a pizza bag, ask the store if they have one. Some stores offer free pizza bags. It's exactly what I mean. All right, let's do this. D8. Yeah, one pizza. Dropped off and delivered, a little hand to me action. That only took uh, 12 minutes and we got $4 tip. Thank you very much. I knew it wasn't gonna go up because it didn't have the little plus next to it. We're able to see that now. So we're still dash along the way, as I said. We'll uh, we'll see if we get something. I'm gonna turn Uber on as well. Now, what might have brought you here today? Miserable customers and why I do not give them my time knowingly. Sometimes you get fooled because you know, whatever. Consumers, there's the whole tip, you know. No tip, no trips coming back. I saw a video from my boy Nugs this morning. Shout out to Nugs. There's a lot of reasons why people don't tip, blah, blah. But I'm going to talk about miserable human beings. I use that word and I mean it, okay? Because my ratings were a 498 before I started this high priority order experiment in my market. And I've taken some questionable orders that I normally might not have taken before. And I don't think it's a coincidence that my rating has dropped down to 4.90. From 4.98 to 4.90, I got two one stars in the last week. Two. The last, this is the fifth day I think I've done, or fourth or fifth day. Fourth day I've done with the high priority, whatever, and my rating's going down. Why is it going down? Because I've delivered to a couple of miserable human beings that don't tip or don't value you. They leave bad instructions for delivery. And they rate you a one star because they're miserable human beings. So not only do they back a suggested tip out out of ignorance or, or straight of them just being miserable, they don't 
do uh, correct delivery instructions. They're not ready for you when you try to bring them the, their food. They don't text you back or pick up the phone when you call. They're miserable customers. Now, are they miserable in everything in life? Probably not. Come on. But they're miserable when it comes to ordering food and respecting what you and I do for them. Because 99% of what we deliver is non is not essential. It is snacks. It is a pizza that the guy did not need. That guy don't need that pizza. Come on. I'm sure he has some food in his house. But he wanted it. And he didn't want to or couldn't go get it himself. So he left the $4 tip because he appreciates us. I don't deliver to miserable clowns. And as a driver, you should not do. You shouldn't either. Because we're enabling that behavior. It's very simple. You are going to make more money. I'm going to say this as a fact right now. You're going to make more money if you deliver to if you if you choose to not to deliver to the miserable human beings. Most consumers do not give cash tips. You'll get some, and actually, I'm going to show you in a minute the cash tips I have in my car. Because anybody that's been watching this channel knows that I keep my cash tips in my automobile because I use that for whatever, and I have a I get a decent amount even from rideshare. But that's not normal. No tip, no trip 2.0. No tip, no trip 10.0. We don't deliver to miserable human beings because your ratings, the likelihood of your ratings being decreased is higher. The likelihood of your frustration being there is higher because of the bad delivery instructions. And it also we're enabling behavior. And we're also telling the companies, the gig companies, whatever company you work for, that you'll work for peanuts. We don't deliver food to miserable. I'm going to caps all that clowns. And if you do that. So let's peek into the cash box. Now, I do have some 20s in here that are not part of. I got those from my ATM. Got that the other day. Got a five yesterday. Five yesterday. Right here. Oh. Five from a rideshare, a dollar there, a couple bucks here. People do do that on rideshare and food delivery. But they, those are also the ones that are tipping already in the app. Because they think maybe that tip goes to the restaurant staff. Or they're just appreciative and have a few dollars and they throw it our, our way. We as drivers, in my opinion, we need to stop delivering to clowns. Let them get their own food. Because a lot of us, gas prices are going to go back up. Inflation is a thing. I understand. I did a live the other day. The delivery fees are crazy. But if you cannot afford to tip a couple dollars that's suggested in the app for your McDonald's, don't order the McDonald's. And all my bad drivers out there that are giving us good drivers bad names because you don't know how to follow instructions and stuff. You got to do better because you're making the ones out here trying to really make a difference for the and give good customer service. You're making us look bad. I don't deliver to miserable human beings knowingly, and I never will. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Call me petty. Don't care. Petty Pedro is a thing. It's a movement. It is what it is. We have got to start respecting ourselves a little bit more. And I see some drivers out here taking $2 orders and justifying it. There's no justification for that. Zero. You're making it harder on everybody else and you're making it easier on DoorDash to get that pace, base pay and keep it low and keep it low and keep it low because the more orders that are filled that are at that low rate, the more they're going to keep sending them out. It'll become normal. And before you know it, everything's going to be two and three bucks. Stop delivering to miserable clowns. That impassioned rant came to you from Mr. Bet on You. Brought to you by Mr. Bet on You. Now let's see what we get with the rest of the day. All right, Uber's back on. I turn on the. I turn. I ended my dash and oh, what the? See, just a second ago it said I could dash now. Listen, these apps are fucking. Oh my god. Okay, let's just go there. We'll dash along the way there again. <laughs> and I know I'm not supposed to tell drivers like what they should do, how they should work. I get it. Some of y'all do the $2 deliveries because you got to have top dasher so that you can dash now. 
listen, I have empathy to that. I told, I get it. I do. I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I, I get it. But I'm talking generally speaking, and I think most of you guys understand that. So if you're offended that I'm saying you shouldn't do this, and I, I listen, I get it. I'm not trying to be that guy, but we, we can't. I think most of you guys understand what I'm trying to convey here. Okay. We got to stop delivering to miserable customers, clown individuals, people that don't respect you, your vehicle, your time, your the, fi- the fact that we wait, the fact that we get in lines, the fact that we deliver things to people in inclement weather. It's our job. I get it. We chose this line of work, but it doesn't mean I have to be a clown while I'm doing it. And enough people already look down on us sometimes. You're a pizza delivery boy. Get a real job. Ma, 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 ma. I do okay for myself. Thank you very much. Because this isn't the only thing that most of us do. But we're true hustlers. We're not lazy. We don't want handouts. We go out and we work part-time after our W-2. We go out and we grind full-time. 10, 12 hours a day, some of you guys. So because we have that spirit, why would we want to deliver to a clown, miserable human being? I think I just summed it up pretty well. All right, literally a minute later, I was able to dash. Okay, that's absolute garbage. Look at that. It's a clown individual. 475 shop pay on Uber. There's no tip on that. Let's go back in here. Let's go ahead and do our dash. It says I can only go till 1230. That's fine. I'll go ahead and extend it later. And uh, there we go. You're getting high priority on praying. You're getting priority on high paying orders. Clown order. We don't deliver to clowns on this channel. Look at that. 40 minutes of work, 14 miles, 4.98. So basically, it's gonna cost me two dollars in gas. So that order's only worth 2.98. Haven't paid any taxes or anything, nothing like that. That's a clown order. If you take that, you're a clown. You need to stop doing food delivery ASAP. Next order that came in. Stick shakes behind me, 3.50. Uh, three miles. I've seen much worse. But I'm not taking that. I think today, so let me go back. 36%. Right, 36%. Doesn't matter. Um, decline. I think I want to keep Uber. What's going on? <laughs> I never know what these videos are going to be. This is going to be just one of them videos that isn't going to be the best edited. And I'm not going to give you all this crazy stuff. And, you know, I'm just one man with an iPhone talking to my car about miserable clown customers and how we shouldn't give us, how we shouldn't give them any of our time and why. Here's another one. Look at that. And DoorDash. Oh, DoorDash. That's what I'm saying, man. People ordering things. One item from Sonic and that, that, that one item probably cost them a lot of money. Let's just say it's like a, uh, what do they got at Sonic? Like the little slushies or it's a drink. Let's say it's a burger or whatever. That items probably cost them with all the fees and stuff. Yeah, 15 bucks maybe, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. So yeah, I understand why some consumers don't want to throw a tip on there or they only tip a dollar. But man, I'm telling you, you can't make money in the gig economy by taking orders like that. And some people would say, just stay busy, Pedro. Stay busy. Take it, take it. I don't deliver to clown people. That's that's the whole thing of the that's the whole topic today. I don't spend time on miserable human beings. Woo-hoo-hoo. Some people are gonna get mad that I said that. But I fe- do you feel that? Do you feel it? Miserable? Yeah. Another one. Another clown individual. Two clowns don't make it right. I can't be a clown for that clown. Sorry. It's not enough room in the clown uh, car for both of us. So we're getting priority on high paying orders. As you see, first order came in at 1057. We've gotten four orders to hit the phone. Papa John's was number one. Steak and Shake, Sonic, McDonald's, PetSmart's coming in. PetSmart's right to my right here. Uh, so this is a fifth order. Let's take a look and see what it is. That's better. So within two minutes, we got 1125. It's going 4.7 miles. So in two items. That's, I say that's better than a $2 order or a $3 order going three miles, don't you think? Let's check out this Uber. Maybe it's a banger. I'll take it. And that's about the same. So we will take this DoorDash order here because we're being patient. We're going to make a little more money. We're going to shop. We're already in the parking lot. The miles are pretty much one mile more for an extra $8. I say that's pretty good. 
I'm glad I didn't settle for the clown individual and I actually I'm going to deliver something to somebody that appreciates us, appreciates our time, appreciates what we're doing, the service we're providing. Simple, guys. This work is very simple. It's not complicated. Let's not deliver to clown, miserable human beings. For everybody in the back, one more time. Clown, miserable human beings. We don't do that here. Go somewhere else for that noise. As you can see, I was in the parking lot. Boom. Boom. Let's go shopping. Two items real quick. That's the first item. And a 35 pound bag. Okay. Done. I'll take that because that's going to be more than 11 bucks. Let's go. All right. So after we pick this up and drop it off, we'll, we'll be just at about an hour. We'll be at at least 28 bucks. I'll take that. All right. We we're very close to the first watch. Let's go pick it up. It's a big order. I hope it's ready. For everybody that says Uber doesn't hide tips, you're a fool if you think Uber doesn't hide tips. That's going to be more than eleven dollars. When a customer tips more than eight bucks, Uber hides it. Point blank. All right, we got a drunken fish. Let's go pick it up. Some sushi. I right, got another first watch, but this one's on uh, DoorDash, so we're gonna pick this one up. I didn't film it. It is a plus uh, six seventy five plus, so it's gonna be more. I'll show you guys that, and then we'll wrap this video up. I've already ranted and rambled enough. I'm plus I'm gonna start doing some rides here, grinding for the next three hours and make my money. Shout out to my man Brandon. Just met you on Euclid. I think you're walk. I know you're walking in a cookie spot. If you see me out and about, say what's up, Brandon. Have a good day, brother. No drop off action. It was a hand to me. It was a awesome old school that they turned into like these cool lofts and stuff. The guy was waiting outside, so I just. Made it real quick, no filming action. Let's go ahead and confirm that we dropped it off and I'll show you guys what the payout was on that. Let's go complete delivery, ba 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 ba. Ooh, nice, 9.75. So you see, a nice $6 tip, took us 19 minutes. Not that bad, that's a great, that's a great order. 9.75, 19 minutes, I'll do those all day long, no problem at all. That's the video today. That's the order from earlier. Remember it showed me 11, it went up to 14.92. They didn't give me an extra 392. That was there the whole time. 1492 for 2.1 miles. I'll take it. I'll show you. Mm, more details. Customer tip. 1192. They paid $22.05 to have that delivered. Wow. But they still tip because they're not miserable. Don't deliver to clowns. Don't deliver to miserable human beings. Only take deliveries from people that respect you. And if you're in a town where you don't have a lot of good paying uh, tipping customers, I get it. You might need to adapt. That's you. In St. Louis, I don't deliver to miserable human beings. See you tomorrow. Oh, Uber hide sips just like DoorDash, they're no better. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.